this is Avi Kaplan, and I'm answering seven questions for seven layers. We're singing all day, and you can't tame it. High tide, low tide, you know. Night time, morning time, yeah. We're going strong, headed up down the river. You know, when I was growing up, I actually didn't go to a lot of concerts. But the first concert that I went to that I really, really remember and love was Ben Harper at the Santa Barbara Bowl. It was a beautiful experience. Oh man, inspiration looks like a lot of things. Looks like the forest, the mountains, the ocean, the desert, love, struggle, heartbreak, many things. I would say that the best compliment that I've ever received for my music was that it helped people get through a hard time. And for me, music has always helped get me through things. And if I can do that for other people, that's the dream. I think choosing the most meaningful lyric is like choosing a favorite child. I don't know if I could choose, but I think one that I'm really proud of is um, the darkness in my mind was the path to set me free. I prefer writing. I love writing music. The creativity part of it is my favorite. And I very much enjoy the performance, but creating is the best. I would love, I would love to sing the third harmony for Simon and Garfunkel for their two harmonies. I think that would be my biggest dream come true. My best tip for an aspiring artist would be to focus on yourself as an individual and what makes you special. And don't compare yourself to other people because if you continue to do that, you'll become like someone else. And at the end of the day, what we need, what we need is individuals. We need people that are special. And if everyone compares themselves to the next person, then everyone's going to sound the same and music will never move forward. So I would say find what makes you special and work as hard as you can to help that bloom because that's what people want to see is you, not someone else. All is well.